Welcome to my allotment diary for my allotment in East Sussex. This is the fourth week of April 2017. My regular subscribers know that I spent the weekend in London and I had a great time and I came back armed with a new camera, a new tripod, a book on how to uh, get the perfect allotment plot and of course I had to go into Wilco's and get some uh, seeds and these are parsnip seeds, gladiator. Not a lot was done on uh, Monday because it was my annual uh, health check at the doctors. You know the usual thing, into your jockey shorts, say 99, cough and please use this glass receptacle. Thank you. As the continuity peas from the last sowing are now shown through I have to put in the uh, next uh, sowing of peas which this time are Hurst Green Shaft. Tuesday morning I started setting out my root bed for the parsnips. Marking out was using the back of the sofa square taped and uh, drawn with a medieval uh, pencil which you will recognise as a nail. And to make the mark permanent I cut it into the timber using a saw. This makes the use of the tape a lot easier. It's like having another hand assisting you. Tapes are designed to allow this. And if you look closely at the front, you see that it adjusts itself to slip into the slot. It gives more accurate measurement. And then we just check the last dimension just to make sure that it's 34 and 3 quarters. The soil at these positions was just dug out, giving me enough room to screw some brackets and put in the tubes which are going to take the posts of the A-frames. It helps the process if uh, this plastic post is plumb. This process was repeated six times. Wednesday morning, back on site, and I put the A frames into position. During this operation it was noticeable that the soil was in pretty good condition. Thursday allotment work was restricted by one, I had shopping duties to take part in with my wife and in the evening I was taking my granddaughter uh, to uh, Brighton University where she was entering uh, a competition um, a bit similar to uh, The Apprentice. So I managed to reassemble one of the frames, one of the A-frames, into an end frame in which I cut it down in size, covered with fabric and put in some extra members.
one of the jobs I've done every day is uh, water and uh, fork uh, the, the plot and this does take some time. I also had a harvest of uh, rhubarb and cabbage. Friday morning I inserted the one of the end frames that I'd uh, altered yesterday. And as stated previously, did my daily chore of watering the plants. We really need some rain. One of my fellow plot holders pointed out that somebody had left a uh, pair of shears in the uh, hedge at the boundary of the allotment. I said that I can make that work again. No you can't, it's too rusted over. I said I'll free that and I've taken it back, oiled it, put some WD-40 on it and it works great. Saturday was spent adapting uh, the other end frame. these in position I then uh, put in the connecting wire which holds them together and enables me to put the enviro mesh as a ridge to cover the frame. I had some side comments from fellow plot holders that I'm building a greenhouse but I'm not. This is as far as I got with the root bed frame. It's the end of the day, end of the fourth week, end of the month and uh, I've got a plot inspection and tour to do. The plot tour and inspection will be carried out on a separate uploaded video. So for the purposes of this bit video all that remains is for me to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you've not already done so and until next time, bye.